Hi everyone, it's Romeo. Today I was playing with these tiny 5 centimeter or 2 inch uh, full range drivers from Scanspeak Discovery Line, model number 5F8422T01. I was uh, planning to use these as differential rear fill in my car. Previously I was using uh, Pioneer uh, 062 PRS mid-range driver uh, as differential rear fuel and I just sold them uh, weeks ago and so I bought these tiny drivers for rear fuel duty for differential rear fuel duty and I was curious to know how they measure uh, absolutely they are in free air right now as you can see and I was uh, measuring their frequency response of the driver with this uh, mini DSP Yumiq One microphone uh, connected to my laptop. Uh, because uh, the manual, the data sheet that uh, the ScanSpeak provides, as you can see here, the impedance curve peaks uh, around, so 100 hertz is right here, and the peak is, should be around 110 hertz or 120 hertz something like that. But the actual FS of the driver is mentioned uh, in the data sheet as uh, something like, yeah, here, the FS is 93 Hertz. So uh, the either the FS is wrong or the impedance curve is wrong and is for another driver that is put here by mistake. But I was thinking, what if uh, the response, uh, the frequency response curve was uh, wrong too? So I just measured this tiny full range driver in near field to see uh, what the frequency re frequency response looks looks like. So you can see uh, the blue line right here is the speaker response near field. And two measurements down here is my uh, floor noise, the floor noise in my room. Uh, as you can see, my floor noise, uh, there is a rising uh, curve uh, from 10K all the way up to 24 kilohertz. I don't know if it's a, uh, it's because of uh, the switching supply noise from the uh, power supply that I use for the amplifiers because I use uh, car amplifiers in home and actually I'm using Moscone 01 amplifier uh, to measure this tiny speaker so I don't know uh, if it uh, if the rising response is because of the uh, power supply of the amplifier or any other noise or maybe just something is wrong with my microphone I don't know uh, if you have any idea, please uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment and tell me what it is. So as you can see, the response of the speaker is a rising response coming alive at around 150, 150 hertz or 140 hertz or something like that. And I think uh, it's because of uh, the driver being in free air. So I think if it was in a seal enclosure or something like that, it was coming alive at around 100 hertz or maybe even lower. But these are tiny drivers, they can't play anything, I think, below 100 hertz. I cannot expect them to play anything low. So because in the lower range, you need cone area to, uh, to be effective. In the response so the driver comes alive at around 140 150 and it's relatively linear up until uh, around 300 Hertz or 350 Hertz uh, it's there's a bit of dip here in 300 Hertz region and uh, from 400 Hertz the driver starts to uh, the response starts to rise, uh, it's a bit higher in here, up until around 2 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz or 2.3 uh, kilohertz exactly right here. So from 2.3 kilohertz we can see a relatively 
huge boost or huge uh, huge peak from 2.5 2.3 kilohertz up to around uh, 9 kilohertz or 8 kilohertz yeah up to 9 kilohertz or 9.5 kilohertz um, and the uh, peak of this uh, curve in this range is around 400 and 4.2 kilohertz so it's around 4.2 kilohertz and the same thing is uh, presented in uh, the scan speak uh, frequency response as you can see at around 2 kilohertz or 2.2 or 2.3 kilohertz it starts to uh, rise it there is a peak from 2 kilohertz up to around like um, 6 kilohertz right here but from 6 kilohertz up to uh, 10 kilohertz or uh, maybe 11 kilohertz uh, there is a uh, dip in here uh, that I didn't measure I, I, I have a peak uh, up to around uh, 10k in my measurement and there is a dip in here, so it's a relative dip, uh, uh, dip uh, relative to this point and this point it's a dip, but relative to uh, this point or this point it's still a peak here in 10.5k uh, and uh, the driver at 15k has a relatively small peak in here, so it's a relative peak relative to this point and this point, there is a peak here and uh, the same problem that I had with my floor noise appeared up here. So from uh, seven, seven, 17 kilohertz up to 23 kilohertz, I have this rise that I don't think it's the actual response of the speaker. Um, I, I don't believe that it can play this high uh, being a uh, full range driver. I don't think... Uh, it's possible it's just a uh, measurement error I think so uh, it's the same thing as down here so I believe that uh, my measurements are accurate up to around 15 kilohertz or 16 kilohertz I can say so looks like something like that but from the uh, scanspeak uh, response curve in the data sheet of the driver we can see a huge peak uh, that uh, I think is uh, the breakup point of the cone at around something like uh, it's 20 kilohertz right here it should be around 15 or 16 kilohertz the breakup point of the cone of the driver in the 15 or 16 range we can see this peak that we measured right here so I think this is the uh, breakup point of the driver. It's not as drastic as uh, it shows uh, on the uh, actual data sheet of the driver from Scanspeak, but this is what I measured from this setup. So the mic is uh, around 20 centimeters or 25 centimeters uh, away from the driver. And the driver is playing in free air um, using these uh, foams, open cell foams. And so this is the setup. Uh, so I think the driver, the, the driver's actual response uh, should be uh, rolling off uh, after this peak at around 15 kilohertz, like this very steep roll off. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, one more thing about the driver itself, these tiny full range drivers. The basket is made of uh, some sort of plastic, uh, maybe ABS or something. And you can see uh, the driver has a huge uh, vent in the back. And the voice coil former is uh, made of titanium, which is uh, visible from this huge vent in the back side of the driver. Uh, but the basket is made of plastic, so it's a bit strange using titanium for voice coil and using plastic for the basket. But I'm 
quite happy with these tiny drivers but keep in mind that uh, it can be a bit uh, harsh without EQing so you can see from the 2.5k up to around 8k or 9k or even 10k I measured this peak right here that without the EQ it sounds very harsh to be honest and I hope uh, you find this quick measurement helpful.